Brand you about effective personal communications. Why have I called everyone in this room a brand? It is because simply a brand is a promise to deliver on something. But what I'm going to attempt to do is bring the word home and take it away from its very absolute use generally. Now, if you look at this next slide, I'm sure that you can identify just about every icon on the slide. And if I tell you that brands are a promise to deliver on something, then it means that MTV's promise is fun, entertainment. It means that Apple's promise is technology, innovation, and simplicity. Nike's promise is performance, Blackberry, instant communication. And I ask you, what is your promise? What do you promise? What is the perception? Now remember I said we should take note of words. The first word is perception. What is the perception people have of you the first time they meet you? You know, there is a way you think about yourself, but is that the same way everyone thinks about you? The theme for this conference is the bigger picture. How do you look in that big picture? How do you look in any picture at all? One thing that all of those brands have in common is the fact that they are instantly recognizable. So what this tells me is that they have successfully won heart and mind share. What do people think of you the first time they see you? Please note that when you saw all of those brands, all of those icons, it took you less than five seconds to identify with them and to say what they were. It takes six seconds to make a lasting first impression. And believe it or not, it takes another 13 further meetings for you to correct a wrong first impression. It always starts with the visual. It starts with what people see about you. So for a brand to be successful, first, it must be visual. It is a promise that must be kept, but most importantly, it must be consistent. This is a theory that was propounded by a Harvard professor, Albert Norebian, and I agree with it 100%. Now, an addition of 55 and 38 is 93, and this is why this theory is called the 93-7 ratio. Ladies and gentlemen, the world over, it is initially image over substance. I tell you something, if you had 10 seconds to meet with a powerful CEO and you came looking bad, with very bad breath or body odor, I guarantee you that that 10 seconds would go to one second or no meeting at all. But if you came powerfully packaged, 10 seconds might just be that one minute you need to sell yourself. On our speaker, Emmanuel, I believe, who spoke about Insideify, was speaking about jobs. There, is a lot of, there are a lot of unemployable graduates in Nigeria today. This is sad. But I also want to tell you that a lot of HR managers will tell you when they're interviewing people that they go with their gut feeling. So yes, we, the platform, the, the internet and all of that makes it online and you know you can apply, and, but you go for a face-to-face -face interview and your appearance is the first of core. Desks and chairs do not make up organizations, people do. And the way you package and present yourself is very important. What I've said it's initially image over substance, but I haven't said that substance should be ignored. What I've done here is attempt to dissect and slice the pie so you have an even bigger picture of what it does look like and the chunk that has been given to appearance. Now, if we speak about appearance being very important, it would mean that the next thing would be, okay, appearance, the clothes you wear, how you present yourself, right? I've noticed, and this, this is the next word I want to speak about, and that word is style. Because I've called you a brand, I've asked the question, what is your brand style? I find that in this part of the world, and many other parts of the world as well, style is now synonymous with appearance or apparel. For me, style is more than pure appearance. Style is the conveyance of an aura of distinction that is hard to define, but easy to recognize. Brings me to my next word, re 
recognize. If you ask me, I believe that recognize is a summation of perception and vision. So we've said perception, we've said consistency, we've said recognize. Are you instantly recognized? When people see you, what do they think of immediately? How are you presenting? How are you projecting? Are you an ambassador of a positive brand? Are you a positive ambassador of your business, of your school, of Nigeria? Do people want to educate you? Now, you might ask why I use product brands as opposed to people brands. This was intentional. The reason I did that is because in our quest to develop ourselves or define our own brand, I didn't want for us to lose sight of self in our bid to emulate role models. Okay, for you to have role models, but in the words of one of my favorite writers, Oscar Wilde, be yourself, everybody else is taken. So if I say that style is more than pure appearance and it's the aura, it takes me a little out of saying just appearance or the way you look. It's the way you carry yourself. It's the way you project. And let me tell you something. Non-verbal messages are stronger than verbal messages. Your body language. How confident are you? Image is indeed everything. Now I'm going to take the next two points together. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's a Bible quote. And nemo dat quod non habet. I used to, well, I shouldn't say I used to be a lawyer. I used to practice law. Um, so nemo dat quod non, non habet is a legal... Latin maxim, which simply means a man cannot give that which he does not possess. I tell you something. If inside you think of yourself as weak, not strong, not confident, no matter how powerful your thousand dollar suit is, you will not present like that. I would rather a ten naira suit on firm, confident shoulders than a thousand dollar suit on droopy shoulders. The world smiles at good-looking people, and this good-looking people smile right back. I want to tell you a little joke, but this is a little facetious, so just forgive me. But I always tend to go back to my worry roots every time I'm making a presentation, just because everyone is not smiling, so I think you should laugh a little bit. So there was famine in the land in worry, and they went to the high priest and said, what must we do? Everybody is hungry. And he said, you must go and bring the ugliest person in the village. And so they went, and they searched out, and unfortunately it was a girl. And he said, there's war, the war, and the war was the ugliest. I should be speaking pigeon, which I'll switch to in a second. And so they attempted, and they came with the war war. And as they approached, the native doctor ran in the opposite direction. See this man running. So they caught him. I said, but why did he run? I said, check. Now, person, I said, I could bring up juju. So you see, perception is indeed our reality. It is what people see. Coco Chanel said, it is not what, it, what is worn, but who is wearing it. But at this point, I must make it very clear that your attitude it is that determines your altitude, your attitude it is, your carriage of self is what determines the brand that you will ultimately send across. I started by speaking about how you look, but I want you to realize that your image must be holistic and is indeed total. It is the way you look, it is the way you behave, and it is the way you sound. In all of this, there must be a common message that you are sending out that must be consistent. You know, the truth is you can fool all of the people some of the time. Some of the people all of the time, but not all of the people all of the time. If you act one day, you will be caught out. And so ask yourself this question. If we are all products in a large supermarket called Life, and we're all products on different shelves, what makes you different from the next man? What makes you appealing? What would make the shopper want to pick you as opposed to the next person? It is your packaging. Perception is indeed our reality. I started by telling you that I wanted you to avert your mind to certain words. Perception, cognition, all of that. But this is a little note that I have written. Uh, I couldn't take all of this in. I'm surprised that I went through the entire presentation without looking at my sheet because I wanted to share so much with you. But I'll leave you with a few questions. What message are you sending across? Is it instantly recognized? Is it consistent? Is it synonymous with the brand that it is that you want to build from now? Does your brand have a future? And my final question to you today is think seriously. Who are you? Thank you very much for listening.